and triplets. Three, 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 three. 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 The midwife said, and so there were. Boys? Boy? Asked the servants. Girls. Said the midwife, and so there were. The queen named them April, May, and June. As the years passed, the three little princess grew into beautifully young women. One day the king said, It's time for you to think of marrying. And wedding gowns, the wedding ball, things, the wedding ball. Not to mention princes. Yes, princes. And there, and there's a problem. You see, there's a slight shortage of princesses here. A, a shortage, shortage of princes? We all have three princesses. How dreadful, said the servants. <laughs> Most unfortunate. I'm afraid so. There were some very fine princes, but it appears they've all been taken. One was swept up by a cleaning girl. A cleaning, cleaning girl? girl? Impossible! Of all the nerve! A cleaning girl named Cinder or something or other. Very nice and hard worker, too. They said she only had rags to wear, except for a pair of glass slippers, but she took the prince away anyway. The prince continued, and the king continued. Another prince founded some enchanted castle. Those are rather rare these days, but do you still you still do find them every now and again. Seems everyone had been asleep for years, including the king's daughter, a real beauty. Without even knowing, the girl and the prince fell in love, woke her with a kiss. A kiss? A kiss? Gaps the three princesses. My word! Of course! You know magic spells. The king said, if you can't think of anything else to break them, a kiss will usually do the trick. Anyway, that prince was married before everyone could even finish young. Another prince fell helplessly in love with a dead girl. With a dead girl? girl? Shouted the three princesses. How frightful! Good heavens! She wasn't really dead. The king said, another magic spell, you see. The stepmother was a real witch. She couldn't stand the poor girl and put a curse on her. Everyone thought she was dead. So, uh, she was so beautiful, they put her in a glass coffin. Good thing, too. The prince wandered by and fell in love. Kiss did the trick again. One more prince taken. Lovely for them. But you see, it creates a problem for us. It's, it's a, a problem, problem, all right. And what a problem it is. Most perplexing. The queen agreed. Princess April stood up. I will go and find a prince myself. A prince yourself? Unheard of! Quite improper. I'm sure I can. If a cleaning girl can find a prince, how hard can it be? Well, said the king, I've heard a prince or two might be up in the northern countries. You could try there, I suppose. I will leave at once. Said April, and so she did. What a view, eh? Asked the king. Will you seek your prince, too? I hope you and Mother won't mind terribly, but I'd better not find a prince at all. At all? Unthinkable! Have you lost your mind? Not at all. I never much like being a princess. I'd, I prefer to be an ordinary sort of sort of person and work in the gardens. Well, I suppose two princesses are enough for anyone. Indeed. Of course. And there's a nice there's a nice young man who works in the garden. So Princess May? I believe he would marry me if you said he could. And so they did. Well then June, what of you? Oh, I think I'll put an ad in the paper. An ad in the paper cried the king, the queen, and the servants from all at once. I'm quite happy being a princess, said Princess June. But I don't want the hassle of searching for a prince. Therefore, I shall put an ad in the Castle Times. The ad will read, Wanted, a prince to marry. Perfectly handsome and rich. Must be wise and kind. Apply in person to Princess June. Well, it's worth a try. Perhaps. I'm sure it's not wise. Sooner or later, a nice prince will answer my ad, said Princess June. Until then, I'm quite content to wait. Very well, said the king. Write your ad. And so she did. It was not long before Princess Saber returned to the council as a charming prince. Now then, April, tell us, how did you find this fellow? It wasn't easy, Father. Princess April answered. I traveled north until I reached the castle. A queen and her son lived in it, but they wouldn't even talk about marriage. Spend the night and we'll talk in the morning, the queen said. The room was nice enough, but oh, 
the bed. I needed a ladder to climb into it. And was it ever lumpy? I couldn't sleep a bit. I figured that since I was awake and the prince didn't seem very eager to marry me, I might as well move on. So I did. Of course, it was terribly dark out. I could not see a thing. I ran right into the side of another castle. <laughs> when I rang the bell, a horrid beast... Roar! <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Tom Thumb, at your service. The little man said, I'm here about the ad. May I speak to Princess June, please? Why, I am Princess June, but I'm afraid you are not quite what I was hoping for. You're much too small. And I, well, I'm afraid of mice. I'm sorry, but you just won't do it. Oh, well, it was worth a try. I must be off. Good day. Tom <laughs> <laughs> Well, the king asked when she came inside. Princess June shook her head. It was a very odd little man, only as big as your son. His horse was a mouse. I doubt he's really a prince. Oh, there's the bell again. Perhaps this will be my prince. The drawbridge was lowered, was lowered again. Princess June opened the door and slammed it shut. Well, so, I guess what it now? Absolutely not. The ad must have gotten into the jungle times by mistake. It was a lion. A lion? Beastly! I knew <laughs> that ad was a mistake. Perhaps you're right, said Princess June, picking out the door. But the lion's gone now. And look, someone else is coming. A man. Oh. Tom, handsome man. Please? Princess June opened the door. The man was indeed tall and handsome, but he was not a prince. I understand you are looking for a new gardener. Actually, I'm looking for a prince to marry me. The man was not a prince, but he was charming, kind, and wise. Well, now, you are a very beautiful princess, and I'd be uh, delighted to marry you, although I am not a prince now. If I would be, if I married a princess, marry me, and she'll have, you shall have your prince. From behind the door, the queen, king, servants, and other princesses said, TAKE HIM! And so she did. The next day, the castle was full of flowers and wedding guests. The three princesses were full of happiness, the king and queen were full of pride, the servants were full of relief. It was a marvelous wedding. The three princesses were starting in their 
wedding gowns of silk, lace, beads, and jewels. The three princesses were dashing in their wedding suits. The feast was delicious, and no one hu went hungry in all the land that day. The dance could not have been better. Even though some dropped a glass slipper, and it was a glorious day. As the newlyweds kissed, everyone was certain that the three princesses and their princes would live happily ever after. And so they did. Woo! Right, yes. 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 Yes.